Hey, what is going on you guys? My name is Zach. I received an email on my website the other day asking how I achieved the look to get all of my portfolio logos to be the same color. Um, when I say portfolio logos, I mean the logos that are assigned to each client on my website to showcase, hey, who do I work with? Um, which people do I work with? Which companies do I work with? Things like that. So what I mean, if we go to my website, it's www.jzb.io, and then we scroll down a little bit, um, we can see different logos here. These are the logos we're talking about. And I was asked, how do I achieve the same color um, on each logo before I upload it to my website? Um, and is there a way to do that quickly without you know, individually selecting things in Photoshop and different things like that? So the answer is yes, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do that real quick, because if it will help you, then I want to help you move quicker in the work that you do. Um, so we are gonna be using Photoshop. I'm using Adobe Photoshop CC for this, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and be working with a previous logo that I have. Uh, this logo is from a photography studio here in town. It's called Wayfarer Photography. Um, a really awesome company. I'll leave a link to their work in the description. Uh, basically, we need to change this white color, um, this white logo, which is the logo that their graphic designer made, um, to be able to make it match the gradient of the logos that are on the website. And that logo is actually already there, and you can see it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to change that. So let's go ahead and drag that photo into Photoshop. And then once you've got it selected, um, make sure that your layer is unlocked so you can access your layer on the right side normally by default. Uh, if it is locked, you'll see a little lock next to it. You can just double click it and then press OK on the middle of your screen and that should unlock your layer for you. Um, just something to note about this technique. This technique can only be used if you want to change from one solid color to another solid color. So for images that have multiple colors or multiple hues, you're going to need to know those individual hues to be able to change your image to different colors. So this might not be the best option for something like that. But if you have something like say a white image and you wanna change it to a red image or a black image, um, this will definitely work for you and this will probably be the quickest way to do it. So this logo right now is completely white, um, which is awesome because it makes it really easy to change. But something to note is this particular logo and many other types of logos, uh, you might not be able to zoom in enough or be able to individually select pixels efficiently enough um, and in enough time in a short amount of time to be able to select everything and change it. Like if you tried to use the um, magic wand tool, um, it would be almost impossible to select every little piece of this image and you know, it might not be impossible, but it'll take forever. So this is actually a quicker way to do it. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure your image is selected, make sure your layer is selected, and then go up to image. And then once you've gone to image, go to adjustments, and then go down to replace color. Cool, so once you pull up replace color, make sure not to change anything or anything like that. Um, you'll see a preview of your image. Basically, the black is what's not selected and the white is what is selected. So the white is what Photoshop sees to be the color that you actually want to change to a different color. And then at the bottom, you'll see result. You have the option to change these, these sliders here to adjust lightness, saturation, and hue. Um, but for this instance, I actually already have the color of my portfolio logos copied into my clipboard. So I can just go ahead and click on result and then right here where you see the hex code, it has a hashtag uh, or a pound symbol. All you wanna do is paste your color there and then you can see it automatically changes the color of my logo in the background. And then I can press okay, press okay, and then my image is done. So basically all I have to do from there is export it as a PNG and then I'm good to go. So this was really a super quick way to get this done. If you guys have any questions about this or any questions about anything else, uh, I post things about this or about video and web design and stuff like that in my blog on my website, which is jzb.io. Um, and then also you guys can reach out to me in the contact section uh, and I'd be happy to make stuff like this to help out if it helps you. Um, yeah, thank you for watching this video and have an awesome day.